Uh, welcome guys to another little video. Now in today's video we are going to start integrating visual stuff into uh, a menu. It's not going to be like too, too in depth for the laying out of a menu and stuff like that because of the Unity component system. But you should be able to get enough where you can pop up the menu and start working with it if you really wanted to. Now, today's video will only be discussing popping the menu up and closing it. The other stuff that's in the menu is a lot more complex and a lot more detailed. So, I'm not going to go into this video because I have a fear that it's going to be too long. And this video is just for the basic pause. So, in the video, we'll, I'll show you what's going on is right now it's paused and everything's cool so we've got our pause and we can either select the M1 right here or the shotgun okay and then it also displays information and I think it's because my post processor is still on isn't it that's why it's acting a little bit goofy for me. No, nope, post processing. Okay, so look, I'm not moving and everything else. Well, guess what? All I gotta do is hit this little X and the action begins. The whole game starts and all this stuff and I can do this. And if I hit escape again, I will bring up my menu and I can de-equip stuff and things. Now I've got a picture, some information here. And these buttons there's no really too much interaction right now because I just wanted a basic pause right now because the other systems are still getting worked on so it made no sense to make this too complex okay the pause menu in itself is very very easy to work with because it's a, a single component and it just does one thing so let's take a look at this okay we'll go to our event system we have just a main panel okay and this is really easy to okay in the canvas I have it set to scale with screen size 1024 by 768 and I have the width and height the little slider at 0.5. This is straight in the middle. It will try to use its best possible way to scale with it with the width and the height. Okay. And it actually turns out it works really, really good. Okay. I'm actually quite surprised that it works this well. Anyway, in our main panel, the variable where we open and close. Okay. And it brings up our menu. Let's pop this on. Okay. And that's all this does. It's like a main game object. Okay. And then I have stuff that's a child. Alright. So. In all honesty. I just have one panel. And then everything else is a child. I have a character picture right here that's just a picture and we'll go over this script later probably when I refine it a little bit more and all it has is an image on it very very simple right now a basic image and then I have right below it a text component all it has is a transform a canvas render and a text component okay this is just junk data and by rights it probably should say broken fix me and I like to put stuff like that because if I'm adjusting this encode which I am if I um, if it doesn't work and stuff like that it'll display the word broken for me okay 
And that's really good because that gives that tells me a good sign that it's just broken. Okay. And we have that that's pretty much it. I do have a button that's parented to this main that's off to the side right here. And that's all this is is a regular Unity button. It's a Raycast target, and it's filled, and it just calls this menu main object panel, and it, I believe this is false. Yeah, probably false. Okay, and all this is telling the game is to turn this off. That's it. But in our script, oh, right here, or this. UI main object, we pass a reference to the, the, the main object that holds everything. Okay? So let's go take a look at this script right here. Okay? I promise you it's pretty simple.
okay? It only calls this when the button is down. So it'll be fine. Okay, so like I said, and you know, this button is nothing to make, okay? It's just a regular button, you know, size, scale, tint, I want none. Okay, and you just uh, go from here. You pull the game object in, and then you go under UI main object, and you go panel, bull, and that's it. Pretty simple. I mean, it's it's really super simple. Okay? And then you got a pause menu. And that's it, guys. I mean, that really seriously is it. It's not difficult. It's not brain science. Okay, and you got a pause menu. Boom, done. And you can equip and unequip. Okay. It's still warping. That's kind of weird. It shouldn't be doing that. But, yeah, for the most part, it's not doing anything, so I'm not going to worry. We'll probably refine this and other stuff later on if we have issues but this should give you a basic pause that should work just fine so I want to cut this video out right here and say thanks guys for watching and hit the old uh, share like hit subscribe if you're not subscribed and Smash that bell and make YouTube break if you want. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is Wardong over and out, and I hope this helps you. Peace, and see you guys in the next video.